carboxymethylcellulose. Polysorbate 80, maltodextrin. We'll just call it CPM for short. If you have an inflammatory bowel condition, a bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, you name it, Crohn's disease, celiac, these three not very well known food additives can really mess you up and exacerbate any particular disease condition that you may have. Why? Let's start off with number one. This came out of the National Institute of Health and this looked at maltodextrin, which has unique ability to take in certain harmful forms of E. coli and creating these things called biofilm films, basically making it stickier, stick to your gut, the bad stuff. Let's go forward says they found that bacteria grown in maltodextrin, a common food additive, were stickier resulting in thicker biofilms and a greater number of bacteria piled up in the surface of intestinal cells. This finding is significant since maltodextrin is in a wide variety of products ranging from sweeteners and processed foods to medications and other products. To proceed forward, suggests that maltodextrin could cause E. coli to gain features associated with disease and therefore potentially increases an individual's overall risk of developing IBD. Well, as well as other things on top of that. Why? You know, E. coli in the system normally is safe, but in the cases of just generally uh, people with inflammatory bowel conditions and so on and so forth, it creates problems as follows. The research goes on. Some strains of E. coli normally live in the intestines of humans and are important for a healthy digestive tract. However, for people who suffer from inflammatory bowel diseases, these innocuous strains may proliferate during a flare-up and further contribute to disease and discomfort. To save time, on to the next one at a Georgia State University. Now we look at emulsifiers. This is the carboxymethylcellulose and the polysorbate 80, which ironically are often combined with maltodextrin. I apologize for speaking fast, but I have a lot of territory to cover. Looking at emulsifiers, which are added to the most processed foods, a texture and extend shelf life can alter the gut microbiota composition and localization to intend induce intestinal inflammation that promotes the development of inflammatory bowel diseases and metabolic syndrome. Bet you never guessed that certain things like this can cause certain diseases, and all they are is common food additives. Now proceed forward. Polysorbate 80 and carboxymethylcellulose at doses seeking to model broad consumption of the numerous emulsifiers that are incorporated in almost all processed foods. Meaning you eat a lot of processed foods, chances are you're going to get the same doses they used in the studies. They observed that emulsifier consumption changed the species composition of the gut microbiota and did so in a matter that made it pro-inflammatory. So, we look at our carboxymethylcellulose, polysorbate 80, maltodextrin, in short, just keep in mind, CPM are the things to look for when reading a food ingredient label. Now keep in mind, if you do not have inflammatory bowel disease, you're not out of the woods. The researchers concluded this. In contrast, in animals with normal immune systems, emulsifiers induced low-grade or mild intestinal inflammation and metabolic syndrome characterized by increased levels of food consumption that cause you to, I mean, literally consume more food, obesity, hyperglycemia, and insulin resistance. Again, CPM, carboxymethylcellulose, polysorbate 80, maltodextrin. If you can avoid it at all costs, you may do yourself a lot of good. For those with inflammatory conditions of the gut, I really do hope you find this information useful, and thank you very much for following me through to the end of this very complicated subject. Catch you guys next week. Thank you.